hello guys today in this video I'm going to discuss how we can implement react router in the react application with TypeScript so as we saw in the previous video that how we can create a react application with TypeScript okay so in this video let's proceed to implement the react router so to imp to to proceed we first need to install the dev dependency of the react router so what i will do i will just copy this command to install the react dom so i will paste it here okay and make sure that you are inside the project folder okay but when you will open your project in the vs code it will be automatically inside your project folder okay so now i will click on enter and now it will install the react router dom in the node modules so after that let, let's let it install first and meanwhile let's check the okay so let's check the basic example of react router dom so as you can see here okay let's let it load first so as you can see here mm, this is the example of react router dom so what we will do we will we will use its mm, this uh, internal statement in our project okay by removing the list code and we will see all these things how it has it can be implemented okay so let's move to this okay it is still installing so let me uh, explain something here so as you saw that in the last video this is a component app component and this app component is called here in the index.tsx folder you can see here i have imported the app okay so yes so now you can see here the dependency is installed okay and to, to let me remove the first here these codes from here because I am going to use this code here so I will copy the code from here from the router and I will copy it till the closing toy of the router okay so here you can see I have copied okay so now what I will do I will also copy it okay and i will again paste it here at the end of the page but it will be before the default export okay and now you can see then still i am getting error here so what i will do i will copy this import from here and i will add it in our project here where I want to import the React Router DOM. So you can see React Router DOM is like we are importing router. Actually, this that is the browser router is called as router. Okay, we have just uh, 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 like uh, changed the name. Okay, so second thing is switch. Third is route, and fourth one is link. So link is used for the redirection and route. Let me show you here. So this is the root is root. Basically, these are the tags router okay and inside the router this is the link it is used for the uh, page redirections it, it works same as anchor tag href in the html okay and here you can see this is the switch statement so it is basically redirecting the to the, the request to the path so suppose some request comes to the root then it will redirect automatically to the home so this is the home controller uh, and sorry component not the controller so this is the home component and you can see here we have uh, created a home component here so this is a component also and this one is also a component okay so here on the same page you can see there are four components okay home about dashboard and the first one is app okay so inside app i am calling three components here so here you can have all the components are at the same page okay so here that switch statement is working as inside switch it has used route and here it is the component so we can we can component you can use component as the same way as a html tag you can see here 
okay so let's run the project to see okay so to run the project we need to run your start okay so you can see here we are getting some error failure to compile module not found and can't resolve react router dom okay in the source okay so what i will do i will go ahead in the project here and it is saying that cannot find the tsx okay actually it did not find failed to compile it didn't find the tsx let me also install this react router dom this is okay so let me copy this one so this is copied and now i will go here and i will stop it i will also install it so you can see here it is also installed so let me run the project here yarn start okay so now it will build our project and it will run or open the default browser so here you can see that means we need to install both the things okay we also need to install this dependency and we also need to install this okay so that means we need to run both the command okay to install the react router dom okay and you can see now our project is running and it by default it has opened home and you can see the main region for this is here okay so because here you can see in the switch it is uh, default uh, it, 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 it is explained as, as exact and it is the root path okay so at the root home will be opened here automatically and then once i will click on any other tab like about or dashboard then you can see it is navigating to other uh, component and you can see here the url is changing that means direct uh, auto dom is maintaining the complete page and you can see this page is not refreshing when we click on any url that means and th that that is because of the this is the single page application that means everything is working on a single html page we are not redirecting to any other html page we are working on a single html page but there are multiple components or on which we are working or we are navigating on the basis of that components so let me show you how we can put these components in a separate uh, page actually or we can to for, for better maintenance okay because uh, in case of the large project you cannot maintain or it will be very difficult to maintain the multiple components on the same page so what i will do let me add this here and i will add here core folder and inside the core i will create one file that is that will be the home.tsx i will again create one more file that will be about.tsx and i will create one more file that is dashboard.tsx okay so what i will do i will copy the code from here this component i will copy sorry cut and i will put it here in the home okay and here i will use export default and the component name is home okay okay and here i will also cut here about and i will put it here and this time i will use the export in a different way okay and you might and, and one thing all you always need to keep in mind that when you do export then okay here you must need to use the export default because if in in, in default it will be connected always with the about but if you remove the default from here then it need to be always defined as about wherever you will import about okay so for better experience i will use the default here export default okay and also i need to put the dashboard from here mm -hmm, mm -hmm, into the dashboard okay and here i will again export the default and dashboard okay so now we are ready and our all components are separated now from a single component 
and now you can see we are getting error in these three components because we are miss it is not found here on the same page you can see cannot find name dashboard home and about so what i will do i need to import it so this is very very simple just put here import okay and here i will go to core and inside core it will be about okay and here i will remove this one i will put it about okay and the same way i will do for home and i will do it again for dashboard okay and this one is for dashboard okay so here's here you can see i just saved this project and you can see it has compiled and this thing logo is not defined that means i have removed the older code so that's why it is saying not defined and now you can see i just removed the logo and you can see it is running and the uh, server has refreshed the browser and you can see now it is working still again very well while uh, we have put the component data in a separate separate pages okay so it is still working on a same single page and you can see it is again changing the url in the same way okay so in this video that is all so in, in the last i just want to conclude that whenever you are going to implement the react router then you must need to install this one npm i react router dom i will put the link in the url also in the description and here i have used this example so i will also put this link in the description section of this video so that's all guys in this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you